Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, silver stackers. Hello, coin roll hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Penny Haven. And first off, if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. All right. So today I made my second trip uh, to the local coin shop since I've been able to return to the local coin shop. Uh, it's great to be in there. It's Saturday. I, I worked this morning because we had a special big event at work, so I figured I'd stop by the coin shop on the way home. And uh, I grabbed some foreigns and I grabbed a little silver. So here's what we've got. Uh, first off, oh, yeah, first off I've got this so 1p from Ireland, 1971. One penny. Um, I just don't see a lot of Irish coins, and it was 10 cents. I don't think I have maybe but one of these. And I've got a couple in a collection that's like pre and post euro. The uh, examples of the five penny uh, Irish coins. So I didn't have that one. I figured I'd pick that up. And then uh, let's see. We've got a 1949. Uncirculated, you can see that clear cartwheeling, the light going around. And it says florin, but uh, the coin is two shillings. So there it is. Yeah. Whoa. Um, yeah, I'm looking at, you'll always see like some numbers crossed out and whatnot. This originally had a price of $40 on it. Then it says $30 and... I bought it for 250 so I'd say they were probably overvaluing. I did not look up the value on this just yet. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to be rolling backwards in time. So I've got a 1919 in fairly nice condition farthing. And this farthing has Britannia on the reverse. And her shield and her robes are in very good condition. That's definitely something to look for. And they call it AU. This is in uh, beautiful condition for 1919. Dig it. All right. Then, Bolivia. Uh, 1895, five centavos. This is not in great condition, but I saw 1895. I saw it was only a quarter. Looked kind of cool. So I grabbed it up. Uh, this side is just almost nothing there, but... On this, I don't know which is the reverse and which is the obverse. So I'm gonna call this the reverse. It says Republica de Bolivia. It's got a number of stars at the bottom. It's got a palm tree, um, a mountain, the sun with lots of beautiful rays. I'll get a close-up picture of that rather than you just watching me look at it with a magnifying glass. Okay, what's next? This one's very interesting. Uh, yeah, I'd never seen one of these before. And as I was doing some research, it's, they're marked as scarce. So this is an 1812 Hull Leadworks One Penny Token. 1812. Now I'm going to read to you something here uh, that I found about this. Okay, so it's, a, it's scarce. It's a Picard's Hull uh, Penny Token from Yorkshire, dated 1812. A little backstory, Picard, the issuer and the owner of the Leadworks, spent some of his time in London and took to gambling his fortune away, eventually becoming bankrupt in 1827 and dying in reduced circumstances in 1843. There we go. And it's listed in Paul and Bent Withers British Copper Tokens as scarce. Not in great condition, but uh, you can see on the reverse here is the Leadworks, the smoke coming out of the stacks, 1812 along the bottom. And you can clearly read one penny whole lead works. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, and there's more incorrect marking on here. This calls it a half penny. It is a one penny token. All right. Now this one, this one is still a mystery to me. I've started to do a little research from what I could see. Um, Coinoscope wasn't quite picking it up. It was giving me a lot of things with similar... Uh, similar shapes, but 
not the actual one. I, I should be able to get more information. Okay, so I found out what the coin is. This is a three fennig from the Duchy of Saxe Coburg Saalfeld, the German states. The date isn't visible, but they were only made from 1806 to 1808, and they made less than 100,000 each year. Uh, so one side is basically a slick, and the other side has a crest with a crown atop it. That's not very rare. You see a lot of crests with the crowns on top. But you can make out some letters. It says uh, HSC on the left side of the crown and to the right side of the crown SSM. And I cannot tell if M is meant to be, you know, if there's meant to be more of that word. SS has periods after it, which, you know, could be a ship. SSM. HSC, SSM. If anyone knows what these initials might mean, do let me know, but I'm going to do more research on this, and if I find something fantastic, I'll either edit it in, or I will uh, get back to you with that information. But it was 10 cents, and it's a fun little mystery, so I'm going to take that. And I was going to just be done with that and just check out, but they were a little busy, some people coming in. Uh, one of the ladies that works at the coin shop, her son came in, did a little social distancing uh, meeting with the, her baby grandson so I was looking in the case a little bit more and I wasn't looking to buy any silver rounds or anything that was most what was in this case but they kind of switched some things around during uh, you know the shelter at home quarantining and I noticed this New Zealand 1986 and if you've seen some a good deal of my videos you might know that I'm pretty obsessed with coins from New Zealand right now so I'm grabbing all the ones I can and that jumped out at me New Zealand 1986 and it looks like it says it says Kakapo beneath there but you know it's gorgeous it's in this sealed case yeah I'm pretty happy about that but 34 years old perfect condition and I pay like four bucks for it so nice and then I just grabbed, you know, some, like a dollar face value in silver dimes. Okay, so that was, that's all my pickups from today. Uh, plus, I couldn't pass up, like I said, I'm obsessed with the New Zealand coins. Another uh, 5P with the lizard on it. It was 10 cents and... A lizard on a coin is always a win in my book. So I'm going to get on out of here. I believe I've rambled on for quite a while. I hope you enjoyed this. I've got some other great stuff coming out real soon. So yeah, keep tuning in. I really appreciate your support. And I'm going to get on out of here. So this is Michael from Pennyhaven. Happy hunting.